Welcome to Stock Invest YouTube channel and this stock report for advanced micro devices. The report was first published on our website Tuesday, August 2, 2022, but this is a more detailed version. Our aim is to help you answer the question Should I buy or sell advanced micro devices? In this video, you will get insight into the technical and fundamental situation and future price predictions. Please remember to subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since July 19, 2022, our system ranks the advanced micro devices stock as a sell candidate, giving it a score of 5.043. If you were following our analysis you would have had an amazing gain of 15.61% since we first told you to buy advanced micro devices 11 days ago. This is an average return of 1.42% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for advanced micro devices our last headline reads, Stronger Technical Forecast for Advanced Micro Devices Stock Price After Tuesday Trading. The Advanced Micro Devices Stock Price gained 2.59% on the last trading day, Tuesday, August 2, 2022, rising from $96.78 to $99.29 and has now gained six days in a row. It is not often that stocks manage to gain so many days in a row, and falls for a day or two should be expected. During the day the stock fluctuated 5.83% from a day low at $95.36 to a day high of $100.92. The price has risen in seven of the last 10 days and is up by 15.61% over the past two weeks. Volume has increased on the last day along with the price, which is a positive technical sign, and, in total, 19 million more shares were traded than the day before. In total, 115 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $11.44 billion. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the stock was $164.46, and the lowest price was $71.60. Right now the price is 39.63%, or $65.17, below 52-week high at $164.46, which also is all-time high for the stock. The stock lies the upper part of a very wide and falling trend in the short term, and this may normally pose a very good selling opportunity for the short-term trader as reaction back towards the lower part of the trend can be expected. A breakup at the top trend line at $99.50 will firstly indicate a slower falling rate, but may be the first sign of a trend shift. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 11.82% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 38.58% and minus 11.63%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 21.28% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 44.05% and 8.6%. This equals a price between $55.55 and $107.82 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets From analysts Advanced Micro Devices stock received a general buy rating. The analysts give P.E. ratio a strong buy and price to book a strong buy rating. For the return on investment the analysts give the Advanced Micro Devices stock a neutral rating. In this section we will give you some information about signals found for advanced micro devices. We will start with the general picture before we move on some of the most famous indicators and signals that will give you a deeper and better understanding of the trading possibilities in the stock. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The advanced micro devices stock holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $92.12 and $83.99. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Friday, July 1, 2022, and so far it has risen 34.78%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD. Volume is rising along with the price. This is considered to be a good technical signal. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence holds a buy signal. Pivots gave a buy signal 22 days ago. Bollinger gave a buy signal 10 days ago. 
The short-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a sell signal seven days ago. The long-term moving average for the three-month chart gave a buy signal 11 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages in the three-month chart gave a buy signal eight days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see short moving average gave a buy signal 15 days ago. The long-term moving average gave a buy signal three days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages gave a buy signal 131 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for Advanced Micro Devices On the downside, the stock finds support just below today's level from accumulated volume at $93.87 and $93.50. There is natural risk involved when a stock is testing a support level, since if this is broken, the stock then may fall to the next support level. In this case, advanced micro devices find support just below today's level at $93.87. If this is broken, then the next support from accumulated volume will be at $93.50 and $86.99. This stock may move much during the day, volatility, and with a large prediction interval from the Bollinger Band this stock is considered to be high risk. During the last day, the stock moved $5.56 between high and low, or 5.83%. For the last week, the stock has had a daily average volatility of 4.87%. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, advanced micro devices meets first resistance at $99.42. If you do not hold advanced micro devices shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn advanced micro devices finds first level of support at $93.87 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. In the table we have listed other potential swing trading levels based on the, the famous Fibonacci model. The average ratings combined from several analyst sources for advanced micro devices is buy. Here are some of the latest insider trades. On July 12, 2022 Peng Victor made an inside sell of 18,641 of restricted stock units. On July 12, 2022 Peng Victor made an inside sell of 11,848 of restricted stock units. On July 12, 2022 Peng Victor made an inside sell of 15,118 of common stock. On July 12, 2022 Peng Victor made an inside buy of 30,489 of common stock. On July 12, 2022 Grasby Paul Darren made an inside sell of 14,143 of stock option. Based on the 100 latest insides trades, we have calculated the insider power to be negative at a ratio of minus 10.989. In total, the insiders bought 1,869,669 and sold 2,331,152 shares in the last 100 trades. Our recommended stop loss is $94.68, minus 4.64%. This stock has high daily movements and this gives high risk. The RSI 14 is 83 and this increases the risk substantially. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 21 days ago. Is Advanced Micro Devices stock a buy? Advanced Micro Devices hold several positive signals and despite the stock being in a falling trend, we considered it to be a good choice at these current levels. We expect Advanced Micro Devices stock will perform very well in the next three months. We have upgraded our analysis conclusion for this stock since the last evaluation from a buy to a strong buy candidate. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Wednesday 3rd we expect advanced micro devices to open down minus 77 cents and start trading at $98.52. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. That's the end of this video, thanks for watching. And remember to subscribe to the channel to get all the latest videos and updates.